Um, never really done a huge amount of uh, compound compounding. Let's, let's go back here and make it easier. Bought a 3M kit yesterday. There's, there's a few bits of uh, uh, dust and particles that were in the black paint I sprayed. And I was convinced by the guy behind the counter at the paint shop to buy this system. And as you can see, it's a one, two, three step system. White cap, white pad. Black cap, black pad, blue cap, blue pad. It's pretty idiot proof, which is kind of handy for me because I'm first off in virgin painting. Um, wow, that's all I can say. Is is it? I'll try to swear. He is just wow. This is just nuts. Um, I wet sanded with 2000 grit, flat, um, obviously blocked. Everything you try and do is a block, so dura block, wet sanded, plenty of water. Kept spraying plenty of water. No, this isn't for bees, this is just a, this is just a spray can. Took all the little bits out, which didn't take too much. Took the, virtually took any of the last little bit of orange peel that was obviously just in the, the uh, in, only in the black, because <coughs> underneath had been. Uh, block sanded with uh, 600 and it, it's a mirror it is hard to describe how much how smooth this damn thing is now and obviously I don't want to put too much pressure because uh, it's clay you don't want to get the damn thing hot because it's the last thing you want, really want to happen but uh, I can't stop it's just like, wow that is just super glossy smooth and that's took me 20 minutes Literally 20 minutes. Blown away. I've never had a product that's done that before. It's just nuts. 2000 grit, block sanded. I said it was quite a dull finish. It took me no time at all with um, the first part of the first days, which is the rubbing compound, the main rubbing compound itself. It just polished out that the, the 2000 grit to, uh, scratches immediately. Like first pass, you could see them half gone. Second or third pass virtually disappeared. Fourth pass disappeared completely. Now between each pass, I've left it, you know, 30 seconds or so. So I've done one side, then done the other side, then done the middle, and done the front, just to keep the damn thing from getting 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 too warm. But I, honestly, I've never. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. It's unbelievable. As the question is, when am I going to paint my own car with this system? Oh my god, yeah, definitely. I think you could have a really rough paint job with loads of proverbial crap in it. And it's still, as long as you can block sand it out with a bait, obviously a tiny bit of, of burn through here, but that literally came out with a 2000 grit and a tiny bit here as well. But that's just really not enough paint. Uh, but this is just a buck. This is just a sacrificial buck. It has to be smooth. That's all it needs to be. You know, the colour is really immaterial. Um, just pick black because it's easy to, uh, I really, really can't stress how damn easy this was. Um, well, it's cheered me up this weekend, to say the least. <coughs> so, um, the first stage of, of uh, uh, that's the main rubbing, that's doing, that's doing, that's doing most of the work. Um, it's called the perfect fit, or perfect it, sorry, I should say. Uh, that takes most of the swirl marks out. You've got to have something like 1500 or 2000, uh, and that just takes it out very, very quickly. Um, then, because obviously this is going to leave some form of swirl marks, this system, machine polished, technically takes out um, all the swirl marks, which it did uh, very quickly. Obviously, using the correct pad, so black cap, black foam piece. Um, this is actually quite a natty piece as well. So. Uh, see. Oh, oh, there you go. The double sided pads for the hexagon drive. So what basically is a, a very natty, um, uh, sort of like a socket wrench uh, dimple in there that sits in the middle. Which you just whack it on, click in. So even that's a nice piece of engineering. See the chrome piece here. Awesome big 250 bucks, a little bit expensive, but. To be honest, the three pads, the adapter, three finishes, uh, there's a finish white product you can do if you're actually detailing the outside of the car. Detailing there, and it comes with two microfiber uh, 3M um, microfiber cleaning racks. So you can take out, once you've pretty much got most of it out, you don't use water, which 
I was wasn't overly sure about, but I checked out the uh, 3M videos on uh, YouTube, and no, no water, just used the product itself. Now the third finish here is more of a ultra fine polish and wax. I'm not going to bother with this because this is a mould, and it pretty much I remember right. It does actually say, you know, and it's a final swirl eliminator. Ooh. Final swirl eliminator. You can't really see that camera. Not really good. Um, <coughs> so on, a, on an outer bodywork, this would be absolutely awesome. Now, I don't want any silicon-based stuff, and I, I think that's non-silicon, but uh, I'm not going to take the risk because that's not very good for mould release. <coughs> Damn, I can't lie. But uh, wow, <laughs> absolutely wow. That is just nuts. That is just literally kind of nuts. Um, that I've got to, I've got to try this kit on five on the Gelco. Uh, I really have got to try this on Gelco because if this can polish my mould up, then um, I'll lean back towards using PVA to make the the, uh, the actual mould. So anyway, just kind of excited. Thought I'd do a quick video and uh, literally. An hour this morning, and I blocked some of this at 2000 and polished it back up, ready for the mold. That that is ready now. That's that's nothing. I've got to make a, a mold partition piece to fit into here. And that's it. It's 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 done. Apart from that. So, well, okay. <coughs> Speak to you soon. Bye.